Now, eyebrows have been raised by concerned stakeholders surrounding developments in Portland where an election has been sanctioned by a cricket board with the recognized body still unclear about the move. Jerome Foster tells us more. The Jamaica Cricket Association JCA election is 22 days away. But on the cusp of that, there are concerns over the creation of a new affiliate body in the lead-up. Based on TVJ Sports sources, a directive was sent from the JCA to a body chaired by Carl Koch to stage an election. This letter has been sent to clubs in the parish of Portland, indicating that the stakeholders should set themselves to mark their respective exes on April 9. And Koch says the move was not a fly-by-night decision. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in direct dialogue with the president of the JCA and also the CEO. Uh, because the JCA will, will be present at the meeting. From Mr. Ferry died, there have been no meeting, no election, nothing at all of, of, of officers. So uh, I think JCA, they are not even certain of who is the president and who actually is running the organization. However, the president of the recognized Portland Cricket Association, Godfrey Flemings, is not having it though. But as far as I know, they were never ever associated with Portland Cricket Association. Portland Cricket Association, as far as I know, is not associated with what is happening. They say that they got a letter from the president saying that they should um, on a general meeting. But I don't know why they, that, that letter would have gone to them when they are not associated with uh, Portland Cricket Association. The All Island Senior Cup competition is ongoing, and it begs the question. Who was communicated with for the tournament that is at the quarterfinal phase? JCA's second vice president, Fritz Harris, who is aligned to presidential aspirant Dr. Donovan Bennett, says he has not seen the letter, but there are several grey areas. What effectively would happen is that there would now be two Portland Cricket Associations. Because the other Portland Cricket Association that has not met for a while, there's, there's nothing that has dissolved them, you know. Because, you know, once you're operated by a constitution, that same constitution also states how you may be dissolved. So that entity still exists, and that entity exists as a recognized entity. And that recognition was recently demonstrated because the senior government is ongoing now. Portland was a participant. So there's no doubt about your legitimacy under the... the the um, operations of the JCA. But in the same breath, Harris has serious concerns. My concern would be um, if this so-called letter really has something to do with the JCA because I could understand people believing that their actions are legitimate if they have something in their hand from the governing body. Mark your constitution, you know, the JCA has no authority over, such authority over a member. But at the same time, if you're a member, you get something from the governing body or the superior body. It will give you some sort of a incentive to figure that, yes, I can proceed with this because the superior body endorses it. While the discussions ensue about who is right, it's understood that all the clubs should saddle up in the East to make their choice on April 9. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.